Hey everybody, welcome to the personal injury success webinar. My name is Dr. Perry Bard. As many of you know, we have so many doctors on this Zoom meeting that we know we're so thankful for that. Everybody mute yourself. Hi. Everybody, let me make sure you're all muted. I hope you're all muted. Are you? Please mute yourself. <laughs> Let's make sure. Let me see here. If, uh, there you go. All right, I think, uh, there we go. I have a better screen now. So if you pop on muted or unmuted, I can potentially unmute you. So, uh, oh, Dr. Vinton, wow, wow. Welcome to the party, brother. Can't wait for your presentation in two weeks. How exciting is that? So we're gonna talk about personal injury. We're gonna do it in a different way. And uh, so kick back, take out a pad of paper, take some notes. I'll show you some cool things here, I promise. And uh, stuff you definitely haven't seen before and more. Many of you probably are a little bit curious as to the timing of this. And you might say, I know if I'm sitting there, I'm saying, wait a minute, hold on, hold on a second. I know they don't do this a lot, number one. Number two, I know they haven't given a personal injury training in two years. Number three, they're doing it on a Saturday. What's the deal? And the deal is simple. The deal is you doctors need this information. There's never been a better time to do personal injury right than right now. That I promise you. I think you know what I'm talking about in the sense that the timing of this information is so vital, so crucial, so important. And you will see, you will see why. I promise that you will come away better. Some of you kind of wonder why, in essence, you know, why these things are so popular when we do them. In other words, why do we get a lot of people, why do we get a lot of doctors to watch what we do, both Dr. Kaplan and myself? And I think at the end of the day, I think it really comes down to one simple thing, and that is, I was told this by a doctor last week, actually, and they said, they, they actually said this to me. They said, you know what I dig about you, Dr. Bard? And I said, what, man? And he said, you kind of have a unique way of taking something that's complicated and making it simple. And, and I, I took that as like a, like a pretty cool compliment in the sense that if we could take something that's complicated, because the truth is personal injury for a lot of you is complicated. A lot of you are not doing it the best you can. A lot of you are not even doing it right, but a lot of you are, and you want to do it better. If you're curious, in essence, why the timing of this is so important, there is also a timing component to this, which you will see. And the timing component of this is the simple fact that in two weeks from today, there is a training that we are giving. And the training that we're giving is the National Spinal Decompression Certification Program. It is being taught in Atlanta, Georgia, in Life University. And if you came to this webinar or the Zoom meeting thinking, holy cow, I think they're gonna to try to sell us something. I can tell you right now, we've got nothing for sale. As a matter of fact, in two weeks, it's completely sold out. There are no seats. If you are curious, you can get on a wait list. The wait list is extensive, and I don't think anybody um, is actually gonna be able to get on from the wait list. Uh, only because of the constriction. We're using the biggest ballroom there. We're doing it actually at the Omni Battery Hotel, which is the Atlanta Braves Hotel, which is really cool. And, uh, and it's sold out like super, super fast. I'm so thankful and so happy. So many of our dissenters of American doctors have seats at this thing. So I'm pumped and I'm juiced and I'm excited. And I'm adrenalized to see you doctors, our family of dissenters of American doctors in two weeks. It'll be killer and more. Uh, so countdown for that. So this is kind of like a little, just a little, consider this today, I would say, consider this like a little gift, okay? Because you're going to see there's a lot of parallels between personal injury and the treatment of spinal disc, specifically in the form of non-surgical spinal decompression. So uh, if that makes sense, shake your head. I think that makes sense, right? In other words, at the end of the day, if we're in the PI business, what are we really in? We're really in the we're really in the disc business. We really are. We're going to talk about that here today. So take out a pad of paper now. Here's the big thing. Give me a drum roll. <laughs> I'm going to I'm, fingers crossed. I'm going to try to show you some stuff here today. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Cameraman. I think that's I'm excited to see you all the way from Searcy, Arkansas. Man, we got such new stuff for you in two weeks. We're going to blow your mind. We're going to blow a lot of people's minds. 
And I'm so, you know, I'm bummed. I have to tell you, I'm a little bummed because so many doctors want to attend this thing. And they, and when they closed it out, they closed it out. Unfortunately, we didn't have any control over that. Completely sold out. They did start a wait list, as I mentioned. If I'm you, I would get on that wait list. You never know. But um, I'm so incredibly excited about so many doctors who were able to snag a seat at that one. And I kind of have a feeling, I'm going to tell you this, if you hang out to the end of this, I have a cool gift for you, okay? And, uh, and you're going to see, all right? Because I think you know that one of the things I get really, really excited about is the marketing of new patients. And when it comes to new marketing of personal injury patients, we're going to teach you a way that you can get PI patients in a way I kind of I kind of have a feeling you didn't do before, hey, Joanna. you didn't know about. And if you did, you weren't doing it, you weren't doing it as well as you could. So we're going to do that. So let's do this. This is what I want to do here today. <coughs> I want to share the Instead screen. 10 minutes. And let's see. I think you're all muted now, hopefully. <laughs> all right. Wow. The room just keeps growing. Let's do this. This is what I want to do. Ready? Countdown on three, two, one. Let's see if this works. And that does work. Very cool. How do you like that? Is that all right? Can you see that? Tell me if you could see it. Raise your hand if you could see it. Can you see it? Right? Beautiful. Thanks, Dr. Suggs. Dr. Booth, you can see that, right? Perfect. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So, as I mentioned before, the title of this incredible once in a lifetime or once every two years training. And if, you're, if you want, you can pencil in the next one, which will be in 2020, 2022 at this point. <laughs> if we're doing it once every two years, if we're doing it once every two years. So um, take some notes. Tell me if you can see that. Can you see that? All right, here we go. All right, so the title of this here today is how to build a great, not a good, personal injury practice in a way that you have not done before. So let's talk about first and foremost, the facts. The facts are simple. The fact is this, a personal injury practice is really, when you think about this, is really the last true vestige of an insurance patient. Now I know what you're thinking You say, wait a minute, hold on a second. I have patients in my practice that are major med patients. They're principal, they're Blue Cross Blue Shield, they're Cigna, they're Connecticut General, they're Aetna. You name it. The fact is this, that has not only evaporated, in many practices it's gone. Gone completely. Humongous deductibles, capitations on the gamut and the range of services, no matter what you do for that patient, and the simple fact is this, why is this important? The reason that this is important is because the personal injury patient is the highest level of patient that you're going to treat if they have a substantiated, validated, and documented spinal disc injury. As chiropractors, that's what we do. The highest level of treatment that we render is for a spinal disc patient that has potentially been scheduled for surgery. Case in point, as you know so well, the reality is that once a patient has a disc herniation, which is the number one walk away, as you know, from a whiplash trauma, from an acceleration deceleration injury, from a hyperextension hyperflexion injury, from a traumatic insult, then you know that this is a higher level of patient. And the reality is your level of care, your level of service, your level of exchange needs to be higher. So why is, the fact is, is that for some of you, some of you personal injury is, and I'm, you remember, the things that you love about when we do this, what I've been told by the doctors is the reason that they dig when we teach this stuff is because we don't hold anything back. We're authentic, we're factual, we're incredibly truthful, as you know, which is the only way it can be. But the fact is this, the fact is we don't pull punches on this because this is your career, this is your livelihood, this is your baby, your practice, your child, as you know. And the most important thing is the patient in front of you. And if they've been involved in an automobile accident, the reality is 
they're having a much worse day than so many of your other patients. This is a specialty. Personal injury is a specialty. And the reason that it's a specialty is because of the simple fact that there is a higher standard of care, there is a higher threshold that you have to meet, and that a PI patient is really, at the end of the day, is unlike any other patient that you're gonna treat, any other patient, with regards to three things. What are those three things? I think I'm a little excited this morning, I don't know. Really, I'm so excited for you guys, I can't tell you why, maybe a simple fact that we've got such a captive audience and I get a chance to look at Dr. Jamie Daniel from Danville, Virginia <laughs> today. Not bad. You're the man, brother. You're the man. We got so many of our family of doctors on this. PI patient is unlike other patients with regards to three things. Number one, number one, the degree of trauma. Let's be very frank here. You all, if you're in the PI business, you're seeing patients that have had air air. Uh, bags explode on them. You've seen patients that have gone through windshields. You've seen patients that have had not just soft tissue trauma, many of which have had hard tissue trauma, meaning they have broken bones. These patients are in the emergency room. These patients are being taken away by an ambulance. These patients are literally on the cusp of something very, very serious because of the nature and the traumatic insult. Now, you know, if you're in the personal injury business, you know that the angle of insult, the angle of insult is so vital, so crucial. Meaning if a patient is hit from the front, it's one thing. If they're hit from the back, it's a completely different thing. But more importantly, as you know, if they're hit from the side, that's where we really, really get concerned. And the reason we get concerned is because of what we call the shearing effect. And the shearing effect is what, number one, affects the spinal disc. It's the shear or the twist with compression that affects the spinal disc. And we're gonna talk about spinal disc because you're in the business of spinal disc. Regardless of whether you have spinal decompression or not, we hope most of you, if not all of you do, because that's how you save patients from surgery. But the fact is, is that if you're in the personal injury business, there's so many other things you're going to need in your repertoire, in your bag of tricks, in your bag of ammunition to be able to take that traumatic patient and move them through the phases of care. The second reason is obvious. The question is, why are they motivated to come to see you? And the reason we ask that is this. The reason we ask that is if you took a survey and you asked most personal injury patients. Who got the phone call first? Was it the doctor or was it the attorney? Now, heck, I'm so old. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I know I'm not really that old. You know, I've been in practice for 34 years. Do you know that I've won this title for 34 years? Now, I'm going to share a secret with you. When I first started in this business, patients would call the doctor first. Can you believe that? In other words, patients would actually, believe it or not, patients would, let's make sure, can you, are you muted? I hope you're all muted. Um, patients would actually call the doctor first before they would call, before they would call the attorney. Now, why did that change? Well, it changed because once the attorneys started getting better awards, they started going on TV. They started taking billboards. They started taking the double truck. And the double truck is, as you know, in the yellow pages, the left and the right. They were out marketing you. And anytime you could be out marketed, that's always gonna be the first phone call they're gonna get. And the fact is this, what's the motivation? Is the motivation to get better? Or is the motivation this? Can I do this? Is this the universal sign? Can I do that? <laughs> You know what that means? What does that mean, right? Dinero, money, moolah, dough. They may be in it for the money. So we got to draw a very clear, clean, distinct, strong line between what we do as doctors and the responsibility to the patient because we don't play that game, if you know what I mean. We'll talk about that game on this. The last thing is compliance. When we talk about compliance, compliance in the simple fact 
that personal injury patients tend to be a little bit more compliant, meaning they tend to follow your recommendations a little bit more. Why? Again, maybe it's because they want to get better quicker, I hope. But sometimes it's this. Sometimes it's this. So we don't hide from that. But what we do do is we make sure that the patient understands what we do as the doctor, why the patient is in our office compared to every other specialist office, keyword specialist, and more. So here we go. So quick question for you, and this is a, this is a great question. Ask yourself this question, because this is really the bridge in terms of where you are and where you need to go, where you want to go. And the question is this, what if you could get paid the same or maybe even better than a PI case, but not have to deal with attorneys and insurance companies? Now think about that for a second. Many of you are in the PI business because you have to. Maybe some of you are in the PI business because you want to. I will tell you this, if your practice is anything less than 30% personal injury, then I'm gonna tell you something. You're not in the PI business. Really what you are is you're probably in the chiropractic business and you see personal injury patients. The best balance, and if you wanna see the transition, I'll show you the transition where our practice has basically gone from a 30% personal injury practice or more. What's the 70%? Well, in the past, it was major med, it was cash, it was workers' comp, it was Medicare, right? It was all the things that you were seeing and more. What did that 70% now become? That 70% is now spinal decompression. Now, if you want to talk about numbers, We'll talk about numbers because remember, this is a business meeting here today. So the average number, I think if I took a poll and I asked most doctors, what are you getting paid for PI cases right now? I would say that the majority of you are getting paid somewhere in the ballpark of $5,000. I think that's a realistic number. But the fact is this, if I took another survey and I asked most doctors, especially dissenters of American doctors, what do you get paid for this case? Guess what that number is? the same or better. Now, the cool thing about that is these spinal decompression doctors are actually getting paid. Imagine, up front. Imagine, they're getting paid, they're getting paid up front. And the reason they're getting paid up front is because they're doing prepays, because they have patient financing, because they have lending trees, because of the simple fact that that patient understands, and now watch the motivation. See, the motivation now changes to being in it just for this, to wanting to get better. I love patients like that. Those are my favorite patients. Now we call those patients all in. So if you're curious in terms of, in terms of the simple fact as to what this is all about, and really if I'm sitting there this morning, I'm kind of a little bit curious because the fun for me, honestly, is I know a lot of you doctors, that's the fun. The other fun is there's a lot of you doctors that have no clue who I am. <laughs> you have no clue who Dr. Kaplan is. Even though you see our pictures in every magazine, go take out an American chiropractor. Go take out a, a chiropractic economics. Go look at your social media and you go, man, these guys are like everywhere. We love what we do. It's the best time in the world to be a chiropractor. Our son is in chiropractic school right now. He knows the future is incredible. Dr. Kaplan's son is in the spinal decompression business running a multi, 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 <laughs> add some numbers to that, seven digit plus practice in spinal decompression. But if you're curious and you're sitting there and say, wait a minute, who the heck is this guy? I don't blame you. <laughs> so I'll give you a quick, I'll give you a quick story. I'll give you my PI story. My PI story is real simple. My PI story is the simple fact that I actually had five clinics, four at one time, and then another clinic, which gave me a total of five. Now, a crazy, they all did personal injury, every single one of them. But one of my clinics, specifically, was a 100% personal injury practice, 100%, meaning nothing else, no major med, no cash, no, no, uh, no workers' comp, <laughs> no Medicare, 
every single patient was personal injury. Now you might say to yourself, how did that happen? Well, I'm gonna tell you how it happened. The reason that it happened was because of two reasons. Number one, the demographic where that practice was located. See, the fact is this, let's be frank here. Remember, this is a business meeting. We can talk business here, right? Saturday morning, shake your head if we can talk business, right? Heck yeah, thank you, doc. <laughs> Who is that doc? I just wanna say thank, let me see. Doctor in the red shirt, very cool. <laughs> I'll come back to it. The demographic decides, meaning practices that are in an urban market, a metropolitan market, a rural market, a suburban market have to be marketed differently. Anybody that tells you that all practices are the same regardless of what you do in your area, they're not being factual. They're just not being factual. I could say they're, I could say they're, you know, I could say they're what we call, can I say this? Can I, I could say it, F-O-F-O-S, can I say that? <laughs> Full of poop, right? Can I say that, right? I could say that because that's not factual. The demographic decides, in other words, it's no different than plant, like in other words, I go in my backyard right now, and I have, what do I have in my backyard? I have mango trees, I've got lemon trees, I've got lime trees, I've got orange trees, but the fact is, is that I may not grow that if I practiced in Colorado. If I live in Colorado, or Illinois, or Michigan, or New York, or New Jersey, I'm growing something different. I may be growing tomatoes, I may be growing cucumbers, do you get it, right? In other words, your area is gonna dictate. So market to your area. The second reason is, in essence, how we marketed. And I'm going to show you exactly how we marketed. The second reason here is this, and that is my practices, all of them, were never dependent upon attorneys. Quite the opposite. In other words, the attorneys were dependent upon us. Now, I know you're sitting there and you're saying, how in the world could that possibly be? <laughs> How could that, how in the world, Dr. Duckett, I love you're taking notes today. You're awesome. <laughs> Dr. Wayman, look at you guys, you guys. Now I can see all of you. Dr. Rogers. Hey, Dr. Rogers, by the way, you are the bomb, brother. Thank you so much for putting together that tour on two weeks. Life University for all the doctors that are coming to the National Spinal Decompression Certification. Thank Dr. Rogers to do a private, got a private tour for all our doctors. You're incredible. <laughs> DCLA docs you know, holding a sign. You guys are amazing. Oh my gosh. And it's great. We're having a lot of fun. So um, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, wait a minute. Is this guy dreaming? Is he in a fantasy world? Meaning his practices were never dependent upon attorneys? What if I told you this? I'll prove it to you here today. Okay, if you hang out to the end, I'll prove it to you. Because I'm going to show you how we market, all right? Which, uh, which is really cool. Um, and this is a great way to be. Number three, number three. The fact is, if you wanna learn personal injury from a totally different perspective, what I'm gonna tell you is this. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, you never ever get involved in an accident. But I'm gonna tell you something, and some of you already knew this. Unfortunately, I became a PI patient. And when I became a PI patient, and I was, forgive the term, can I use the term here? I was whacked. I mean, I was hit so hard that I could not physically get out of my vehicle. EM, EMTs came, they braced me, they didn't want me to move. Um, and then, as you know, if you're a personal injury patient, then the story really began. Because I think what happens is when you get hit so hard, you're in shock. I think your adrenaline kicks in. I think your endorphins kick in. I think your body kind of has an instinctive way. That's why, that's why that two week window in Florida where they don't get checked really was unfortunately not in the best interest of the patients. We'll talk a little bit about that. And see in Florida, you have to have what's called an EMC. We'll talk about that here today because I know a lot of doctors are not from Florida. Um, 
And Florida's great. Let me tell you something. Florida's one of the best places in the world to practice. But guess what? For personal injury, there's a lot of other places. You know what I'm talking about. If you're in Minnesota, Dr. Olson, if you're in Kentucky, Dr. Petrucci, holy cow, and more. There's other states like that and more. I became a personal injury patient. And what happened was my whole perspective changed. Then I had to go for an MRI. Little did I know that it was so loud. Little did I know that you're really kind of constricted in there. I had to bring a Steely Dan CD with me. The guy says, I pressed the button. I said, take me out. I said, give me a blindfold. I ran out to my car. I got a Steely Dan CD. I put it on and I said, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to Steely Dan and I'm going to get in the zone here because this is kind of crazy. I will tell you this, the best personal injury clinics in the country, in the country, are really at the end of the day, they're really what we call, they're built from, they're really built from two places. They're really built from within. And guess what? They're also built from without. The reason they're built from within and without is because of the simple fact that, and I'm gonna say something that's probably gonna, I don't know, forgive me ahead of time. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time when I say this. Um, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, but listen, you know, we have to be factual and we have to be real and we have to be authentic and we have to give you value here today. Even though we, we're not charging for this, <laughs> but you're giving us something more valuable. You're giving us your time. Are you digging this so far? Raise your hand if you're kind of digging it so far. Make sense? All right, perfect. Here's the fact that treating personal injury patients is not for everybody. Now, the reason that it's not for everybody is because of the simple fact that there's a higher level of involvement on your behalf, doctors. In other words, you must be more dialed in to that situation. You must be more empathetic, not sympathetic. Sympathetic is sympathy is I feel bad for you. Empathy, see, that's why empathy is not only do I feel bad for you, but guess what? I've walked in your shoes. I understand how it is to get out of bed in the morning after an accident. I understand that you that have difficulty lifting your children. I understand that you can't go to work. I understand that you can't play sports anymore. I understand that this has affected your personal relationship. When you can come from that perspective, empathy is so much more powerful than sympathy. And we teach that in how we communicate to the patients. It's not for everybody in the simple fact that your documentation must be higher. You must be more accountable. There must be more T's and more I's crossed. Now, personally for me, I love that. I love being just like you doctors. I love being the torch carrier for the patient. In other words, I want to be the patient's advocate in personal injury. I want to be the one to be able to make their case, explain their case, show a causal relation between a day, date, and time as to how they were before trauma and how they were after trauma, and then use the objective findings in our battery of testing, which we'll talk about, to be able to validate and to be able to efficate the really the justification and the medical necessity for not only treatment, I'm not talking about just getting paid here. Getting paid is awesome, but I want that patient to win. I want that patient to walk out of my office saying, wow, these guys are so thorough. These, no wonder that my attorney sent me there. No wonder my sister, my brother, my friend, my neighbor, my significant other, my friend's sister's postman's friend sent me there. That's how this works. And if you build the machine the way we teach you, you're going to have a blast because PI is amazing. The fact is this, as a chiropractor, we're in the best position to treat a personal injury patient. If, if you ask yourself these questions, these are five questions you need to ask yourself right out of the gate. Number one, are you prepared to understand that this is a team approach? Meaning for the chiropractors that are on the Zoom meeting, if you think that it's all you, well, guess what? You could be right. It may all be you. Listen, let's be frank, right? We know that as chiropractors, we offer the most viable treatment options for care. We know that we can care for those patients better than anybody. 
We know that we can save patients from opioids and from potentially epidural injections and potentially unnecessary surgeries, microdiscectomies, laminectomies, spinal fusions. You see the way this goes? But the fact is, is that if you're doing this alone on an island, you are, in essence, really, you are alone. And when it comes to treating a PI patient, you should never be alone. There is a team approach, which we'll talk about. Question number two is that, are you prepared to understand that your documentation must improve? In other words, the same old, same old is not going to work. It's not going to work for insurance companies. It's not going to work for attorneys. But most importantly, it's not going to work for the patient. You must make sure that your documentation is of the highest level. Now, you might say to yourself, you might say to yourself, <laughs> How do I increase my documentation, Dr. Barr? Well, here's the secret. If you ask better questions, if you start asking better questions, come off the OPQRST and start asking more specific questions specific to trauma, now you're on the right path. Number three, are you prepared to understand that your communication must improve? Now, here's the secret. What you must do is you must communicate better. And the way you communicate better is you take the convoluted, you take the MRI reports, you take the other second opinions, and you break them down to simple language. One of the biggest mistakes that chiropractors make is they talk too much what we call, there's a term for it. They call it, um, Medical babble, I think you would call it, right? In other words, they want to use all these big words. So here's one of the secrets. If you use a big word, then break it down to a smaller word. What we do is we paint a lot of visual pictures. We use analogies. We use metaphors. We make sure that that personal injury patient, when they walk out of the office, they understand that they are in not just the right place, but more importantly, they have a higher level of understanding as to what the future looks like. And the only way the future gets better if they take care of the present and we teach them how to do that by getting the proper care, following the proper guidelines, following doctor's recommendations for home care and more. Number four, are you prepared to understand that it should not be about money? Now, if you see a little, what's his name? Arnold the pig? <laughs> Is that Arnold the pig from Green Acres, right? Is that Arnold Ziffel? <laughs> now you really know how old I am. <laughs> the fact is this, you've heard it before a thousand times. So you're gonna hear it a thousand and one now. That pigs get fat, but hogs get slaughtered. Don't be a hog. Understand that the benefit package that the patient has in a PIP claim, in a personal injury claim for the med pay, has to factor in potentially an MRI, potentially an orthopedic surgical evaluation, potentially a neurosurgical evaluation, potentially an emergency room visit, potentially a follow-up and follow-through if they're being treated allopathically because they may be on some level of medication. They may be on anti-inflammatories. They may be on Tramadol. They may be on Vicodin. They, be, they may be on Norflex. They may be on Percocet. They may be on Oxycodone, Oxycontin. And the truth is there's no good doctor on this planet that ever writes a prescription for those things and doesn't give the patient a follow-up. No good doctor. You can't just give a prescription and make it a blank check. You know that, we know that. That's why it's so cool to be a chiropractor because we don't have to afford that patient that option because guess what? You and I both know, not the best option. We've got better options in the world of non-surgical spinal decompression to treat the disc properly, in the world of electroanalgesic healthcare, in the world of laser, in the world of so many other things that we can do. So understand you're part of that. Last but not least, are you prepared, doctors, to understand that you are the best doctor, and I mean the best doctor, the torch carrier for the patient? If you're prepared to say yes to all that, now we can move forward and make a decision that personal injury, if you want to make it better, it should not be a hobby. 
It should be a very laser focused, very specific, dedicated, strategic plan to be able to position you as a disc specialist so you can attract disc patients to be able to save that disc patient from other potential bad outcomes. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're saying to yourself, number one, hold on a second. If we are working with orthopedic surgeons for a PI case, and we're working with neurosurgeons in a PI case, and we're working with attorneys in a PI case, is our job to save the patient from surgery? The answer is emphatically yes, emphatically yes. But the fact is this, the fact is in the real world doctors, you know that unfortunately you can't save everybody. Wouldn't it be great if you could? The fact is, is that even with the best training, the best technology, the best office, the best staff, the best dedication, that there will be a percentage of your patients based upon the traumatic insult and their presentation of subjective and objective findings of the simple fact that these, pers these individuals had a shearing effect to the disc. The disc is sequestered, it's damaged. There's a fragment in their spinal cord now, and now as a result, they could be borderline, borderline, unfortunately losing their motor skills. Once they start to lose motor function, and that's why it's so incumbent upon you doctors to do the right test. Are you doing the minor sign? Remember the minor sign? Remember when they get up and remember the minor sign? You remember when they can't get off the chair and they got to grab their knees? Document that. If they have a valsalva, if they cough or they sneeze or they strain or they laugh and it hurts, that increases intrathecal pressure, intra-abdominal pressure, intradiscal pressure. You know that. You got to document that. That's crucial and that's vital. Let's start with the team approach, obviously. And the team approach, as I mentioned, number one, is the chiropractor acts as the quarterback of the care. Do you like that? It's kind of cool, right? In other words, we're the quarterback. In other words, we dictate and we determine what the patient needs and what the patient doesn't need. And if we're quarterbacking the care, we better have a good wide receiver. We better have a good running back. We better have a good offensive line. We better have a great defensive line. That's, doctors, how you win the PI game and how you surround yourself with the right personnel. Now, obviously, if I'm going to refer a patient out, who do I like? Well, I like orthopedic surgeons that are great documenters that can document the facts, but I also like orthopedic surgeons that are not the first ones to run to the scalpel. I like orthopedic surgeons that understand, in essence, that we're directing the care. I like orthopedic surgeons that, big word, we're going to use it a little bit later, two words, clinically correlate what we're doing in our office. And for Florida doctors, as you know, where we've got a two-week window to be able to get that patient in because after two weeks, now the patient is no longer able to tap in to their personal injury, into their personal injury benefits. Do they still need the care? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You should never turn those patients away. What do we do? We work with a lending tree. We afford the patient's lending options because the fact is, is that a lot of those patients are going to need non-surgical spinal decompression. And now we can put them on a program that's $150 a month, $200 a month. We don't lose patients. We never lose patients if we communicate it the right way. So number one, the team approach. The team approach also involves what we call the MRI center. The MRI center is the radiologist. Now, what you know is what I know. And that is that there are certain MRI centers that you're going to like better. Now, what do we like better? We like, this is how we rate MRI centers. If you want to know how we rate them, this is how we rate them. Number one, do they have the best eyes on the planet? In other words, can they see the invisible? That's the doctors, that's the, they rank at the highest. In other words, number one, the MRI centers that could see the extruded disc that could see the protrusion, that could see the prolapse, that could see the Schmoll's nodes, that could see any other complicating factors. Those are, the, those are the radiologists we love. But what we also love is number two. What we also love 
is the ones that can document that. Some doctors, some radiologists tend to lean a little bit more conservative in their language. We don't want them to be liberal. We don't want them to be conservative. We just want them to be factual. And if it is a herniation, then to call it as a herniation. If it is a prolapse disc, then to call it as a prolapse disc. If there's multiple ones in there, grade one, grade two, grade three, if there's complicating factors in there, if you have an anterior listhesis, if you have a spondylolisthesis, whatever you may got, whatever you may have going on there, they need to document that. And that's how we rate them. Standard. Any chiropractor that doesn't order an MRI after somebody's traumatic insult is unfortunately not meeting the standard of care. You're not meeting the standard of care. Well, guess what? The doctors that are on this Zoom meeting here, Saturday morning, are we having fun? Say yes if we're having fun, right? We're digging it, right? <laughs> we love PI. The doctors, the doctors that understand really that there's a proper way to do this. In other words, there's an order to personal injury to do this right for the patients. And if you're doing it right, heck, you know, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you get elevated, your practice gets elevated. Can I say this business meeting? I'm going to say it. What the heck, right? Your, 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 your income gets elevated, right? Right? Nothing wrong with that, right? The highest level of care deserves that. But if you're in it just for the money, I'm going to tell you, you can check out at a Zoom meeting right now. Check out right now. It won't, it won't, trust me, it doesn't affect me. <laughs> I don't take it personal. If you're just in it for the money, Dr. Kaplan doesn't take it personal. But if you're in it for the right reasons and you want to do better, then we want you to raise your game. And this is how you raise the game. The two most important words in personal injury is or are clinical correlation. Your ability to connect the dots between what the MRI reflects, what the EMC reflects, what the orthopedic surgical eval reflects, if indicated, what the neurosurgical eval reflects, if indicated, and any other third party analytical evaluation. See, that's where diagnostics become so important in the PI case. You see, these patients are walking around with traumatic insult to disc. And that's why if you're a specialist, then you're in the business of disc. And guess what? You're gonna do this better than the guy across the street. You're gonna do this better, you're gonna do this better then the chiropractor around the corner in the same county, maybe in the same state. And the best way to do that is you have to talk the right language. Now, how do you talk the right language? Well, there's a way to do that. And if you want, I'll teach you how to talk some of the right language here. And I just want to make sure I'm looking at some of the same thing that you're looking at here. <laughs> Are we looking at it? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So let's talk about the first visit. Can we talk about the first visit? The first visit in PI is the most important. The reason it's the most important is because there's a feel out process here. There's what we call a setting of the table. If you don't set the table properly, then what will happen is unfortunately, you're just simply not fulfilling your potential. And fulfilling your potential is the reason you're spending Saturday morning with us. Right, Dr. Kratz, when you could be in San Francisco at the Golden Gate Bridge? <laughs> Dr. Pine, Dr. Ross, look at all you guys. Oh my gosh, Dr. Bearden, <laughs> look at you. Dr. Vinton, awesome. Look at all you guys. I'm just, Dr. Paduzzi, what a pleasure. Can't wait to see you. Dr. Boroditsky, all right, very cool. All right, obviously we've got a lot more people here than when we started, and uh, we've got some cool things to show you. So stay to the end. That's all I can tell you is this. The first visit is vital, it's crucial, it's important for a number of reasons. Let me tell you what we do in our office. What we do in our office is this. My staff or our staff, our new patient coordinator, doesn't treat them like other patients. What they do is they physically get out 
from behind that magic wall right there, and they walk out to greet them. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, wow, I dig that idea. I should do that with all my patients. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> you're 100% right. You should. She'll come out and she'll sit with them. And she'll sit with them to help them fill out the paperwork. She'll offer them refreshments. She'll do certain things to make them feel like they are home, like they're sitting in somebody's living room. Now, when I meet them, there's always something that I say right away to a personal injury patient. What I say right away is I introduce myself. Hi, Ms. Jones. I'm Dr. Bard. I'm so sorry. And unfortunately, that you had a bad accident. But I happen to be so thankful that you walked away from it. That's the first thing that I always say to a PI patient. Always. Always. Now, why do I say that? The reason that I say that is because, to be frank with you, heck, if I was involved in an accident and I walked into a doctor's office, I walked into your office, doctors, and you came out and you said that to me, I'm like, wow, this guy understands. This gal understands. That's cool. Now, what I always do is I always, right away in a PI case, I always acknowledge the referral source. Always, always. Now you probably think it, does he do that with everyone? The answer is yes, but I really make a very concerted effort in a PI case to do this. And the reason being is because I get a chance to ask this great question. And this is something that you must ask every PI patient that's being referred to you by an attorney. Ask them this question. Ms. Jones, do you know why they referred you to me? Now, do you watch my body language? Do you see my face? Do you get it? I got everybody to look up when I said that. When I say that, would you kind of say like, I kind of have like a little bit of a smile on my face, right? And I, and I nod my head because I want your language to project so well. I don't want it to be just what you say. I want every fiber in your soul, every cell in your body to radiate personal injury. I want everybody, I want that patient to understand that you care so much about them that you're willing to do anything and everything within your skill set to help them. But to also educate them and to ask them this question Do you know why? Do you know why Attorney Smith referred you to me? Do you know why? And this is how we answer the question. Sometimes you'll get incredible answers when you ask that. But what we do is we often answer the question for them ahead of time. And the way we answer it is as follows. We say to them, you know, they referred you to us here at our office because number one, they want you to get better. That's number one. That's why they sent you here. They want you to get better. And number two, they know that as your doctor, I'm thorough and I put my patients first, always, always. Patients dig that because it's the truth. They send them to me because I am thorough. I'm the most thorough chiropractor and physician they're gonna see. But I always put my patients' needs first. If they have something outside of my scope, they're gonna be referred out. If I can do anything to save them through non-surgical spinal decompression, and very specific spinal disc care from a laminectomy or a foraminotomy or from a microdiscectomy, as you know. And let's be frank, you know what happens. Once they get one, what happens? What do they often end up with? Two. And if two doesn't work, what happens? Then it's three. Now they got metal in their back. Now they got bolt screws, a metal cage. We're gonna talk so much about that at the National Spinal Decompression Certification in two weeks. I'm so happy for so many of you that are gonna be there with us, Dr. Thomas, Dr. Banks, who's presenting. I'm so juiced for your presentation, Dr. Scott Banks, awesome. Dr. Kern, hanging with us, baby, today. <laughs> see, I got a chance to see you on that other screen. You bet, the party is going down and uh, 
for those doctors that were able to get seats, I'm so happy. And guess what? For the ones that didn't get seats, if you hang out to the end of this, maybe we'll have something pretty cool for you. I think you know. So uh, to make this a great year for you. Listen, I know this has been an amazingly tough year for so many of you. I know for so many of you, this has been the toughest year professionally and personally. And I can't tell you how much Dr. Kaplan and myself really feel, in essence, what you went through. And it's tough, I know. But I will tell you this, two things. Number one, I promise you, it'll get better. If you invest in yourself as you are right now, it will get better. And number two, for the doctors that are able to be able to get a hold of some of our trainings, to be able to get a seat, obviously you can't get one in two weeks, but there will be another one. We'll talk about it and more for the doctors. And this is not announced anywhere. This is not being marketed anywhere. This is, this is for you guys because we wanted to make it awesome for you and more. It will get better because, and how do I know that? I know like you're saying, wait a minute, he seems pretty, he seems either pretty confident or he seems pretty cocky, maybe, or he seems like he just knows. Well, the truth is I do know. And the reason I do know is because I get a chance with Dr. Kaplan to look at our Disc Centers of America doctors numbers. And what if I told you that these doctors in a COVID-19 world set records this year, records that were to me beyond measure. In other words, they made my, they made my mandible drop when I looked at some of these doctors' numbers that are putting up the numbers that, and wrote it, what are they doing? They're doing exactly what we're sharing. They're disc specialists, they're disc doctors, they're non-surgical spinal decompression doctors, they do some neuropathy, they do some joint care, they do personal injury, they're running cash-based, $5,000 plus package practices, they're closing three, four, five of these cases per day, $25,000 days, 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 unbelievable. I'm so happy for them, they deserve it. Let's talk a little bit more about it. I always tell the new patient this, I always say, you know what? I, I always let them know that, you know, I love being a doctor. You know, one of the reasons I love being a doctor is what I've been doing, I've been taking care of patients that have been involved in accidents for over 34 years. I know it's crazy, right? 34 years, right? I graduated in 1986 from Life University, Life College, right? 34 years. But I always tell the new patient this. I always tell that, do you know what the D in DR stands for? I always tell the personal injury patient this, the DR, and you can use this for your disc patients. I always tell them that the D stands for detective. And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is the simple fact that we want the patient to understand that yes, we are doctors, but we're gonna use all the available tools to get to the root, to get to the cause, to get to the reason why they're feeling the way they do, and what could be done for it. So the D stands for detective. We're part doctor, but we're also part detective. And in sharing that with the patient, it always lets the patient know that we're gonna do everything we can to educate them and to give them options. The fact is this, we can't accept everybody in our office. We let patients know that. We can't accept everybody in our office, but I promise you this, the ones that we do accept do very, very well in our clinic. That's a beautiful thing. The reason that we're detectives is with regard to the examination and the x-rays. That's why your Lasagne's test is so crucial. Your Braggart's test is so crucial. You know what's one of my favorite tests in the personal injury world? And you should be doing this on everybody. But my favorite test is the Kemp's sign. The Kemp sign, remember, you're standing behind the patient, you got your hand on their shoulders, you're digitally palpating their spine, a little motion palpation. That's for you, Dr. Moyle, by the way. <laughs> and you're giving that patient a sense that you know with your hands that you're being a detective. So you're getting in that joint, you're getting into the PSS, you're getting into the lumbosacral junction. I'm doing it with you right now. 
And then gently, I ask the patient to lean back. And when they lean back, I also ask them to twist. Now let's be frank. Has there ever been a patient that has ever walked into your office that's had a bad disc, a bad traumatic insult, a bad personal injury, that walked into your office in an extension position? Has that ever happened? <laughs> no, it's never happened in my office. When someone's got a bad disc, they're going to walk in in all degrees of antalgia, meaning they're going to be bent forward, they're going to be in a flexion position, and you have to recognize that. So the fact is, is that they may never even be able to get into a Kemp sign, but you got to document it because that's what, what happens when you arc the patient into extension and you put a little rotation in there? What happens to the neural foramen? I'll show it to you. See, this is the best part of being on a Zoom meeting. You ready? <laughs> Did you see that? That's my, that's my, that's my um, models for today. See that? Can you see that? The neural foramen occludes. It gets narrower. And if you've got a disc extending into the posterior portion of the lumbosacral junction, now it's going to be even worse. You need to document it, but you also need to let the patient know that what you just did indicated something very, very important. There's one thing I never do on the first visit. There's absolutely, there's a lot of things I do do, but there's one thing that I think you should never ever do on the first visit, and that is this. You should never adjust on the first visit. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, and you're saying, wait a minute, I know Dr. Bard. I've met him before. I've met Dr. Kaplan before. They love chiropractic. They love adjusting. They're so into this thing, even after all these years. Now, do you know that Dr. Kaplan's been in chiropractic now for over 40 years? Is that kind of wild, right? And if you take my experience, that means we've been doing this now for over 70 years combined. And I'm gonna tell you, that after all these years, yes, we could be hanging out on the beach. Yes, Dr. Kaplan could be playing golf, which I think he is today. <laughs> yes, we could be doing those other things. But you know what? We love the business of chiropractic. We love the future of chiropractic. We love the upside and the potential of chiropractic. If you know what you're doing, if you're applying some of the tools that you're learning here today and you start saying to yourself, I'm gonna raise my game. I'm gonna be a better PI. I'm gonna be a better PI doctor. And to shoot for 30%, 30% is the magic number. 30% optimally, 30% PI, 70% cash, spinal decompression, potentially neuropathy, potentially joint care. But even if it's just, listen, if you're in the disc business, that's where you're living. It's the awesome, because remember, you're treating the same thing. Personal injury patients, have a primary disc problem if the traumatic insult is serious enough. We never give an adjustment on the first visit. What we do do though, is we use a number of therapeutic analgesics in our office to be able to calm some of that edema down, some of that soft tissue swelling. What we do is we'll take a Davis series, we'll do a flexion extension, we'll do obliques, we'll take a full spine, We'll order an MRI right out of the gate, right out of the gate. We're not pulling punches here. We're not come see, come saw. We're not, let's wait and see. We're not, we don't hem, we don't haw. We attack this thing because if that's your husband, your wife, your child, your grandmother, your grandfather that's sitting on that table, you're gonna give him your best, man. You're not gonna pull any punches. You're going right, right for the jugular. And the way you go for the jugular is you order the right test right away so you let that patient know we're gonna start communicating because we suspect, we suspect, and we take out the disc model, that there could be some dam damage to the cartilage in their spine. When we talk about disc, we talk about cartilage. And that's what we're concerned about. Do you notice the language for the spinal decompression patient is very similar to the personal injury patient? You notice that? So also too, you understand obviously that there could be 
ligamentum issues. It could be damage to the alar ligaments. It could be damage to the ligamentum flavum. There could be damage to the soft tissue elements around the spine. These are some of the supportive, these are some of the supportive tissues that hold the, the lordotic curve in place. And that's why often when you see me talk about it with a patient, what language am I using? What body language? I kind of walk around my office like this. It's kind of funny. This is what I do. I walk around like this. Now, do you know what that means, right? What do you do this too? Tell me if you do this, right? When you talk to a patient, right? That's a C curve, right? Right? You do that, right? It's not this. You know, I even have the patient do this. I have the patient physically actually do the same thing with me. I say, take your finger, go like that, right? Now take your finger and push down on it. Now, do you notice how that's a spring? Do you see that? That's good. That's, how, that's what a good disc should do. It should act like a spring. Unfortunately, because of the nature of your accident, you now lost that curve. Now take your hand and do that. Doesn't feel as good, right? Well, that's what's going on in your spine. And if you do that long enough and you do it hard enough, you'll have a bruise right there. We use multiple tools to be able to communicate with the patient that they've got a problem and it's a serious problem. We don't make it a taint nothing problem. When I say taint nothing, meaning that was an old catch phrase for chiropractors where they would say, ah, oh, taint no big deal, taint nothing. If you taint nothing this thing, well, guess what? Your practice is gonna look like a taint nothing practice and your bank account <laughs> is gonna look like a taint nothing bank account. And the fact is that you deserve better. You deserve better. And that's why you're here with us today, because your patients deserve better. So if you understand that there's inflammation after traumatic insult, and really we're educating patient on the disc, there's really one thing that you want to do. If you're on this Zoom meeting, thank you so much for everybody who's hanging with us today. I can't believe all these people that joined the party after Dr. Vito. Wow, I'm so excited, Dr. Manson. And there is a special. There is a special doctor on this Zoom meeting. I'm ready to jump out of my clinic jacket right now. I can't believe it, Dr. JB. Welcome to the show. Best of the best. No one better. Some of you know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to say. All I'm going to just say is we share the same name. <laughs> and he's on this too. Get ready. He's hanging with us here today, having fun on our Zoom meeting, sharing the love, sharing the content, raising your personal injury game, making you a better doctor, and giving you things, action steps, that you can take advantage of to say, you know what? 2020, that's almost over. 2021, if I set the table the right way, guess what? Life gets good. And if it's good for you, you'll make it great for your patients. There's one thing that you want to do. You want to focus on this, doctors. You want to write this down. Your goal, your intent, your purpose, your mission, your plan is that you want to do everything you can within your power, doctor, to be a spinal disc specialist. If you're a spinal disc specialist, I trust me now, the attorneys will love you. The insurance companies will love you. The patients will love you. And you'll love going to, I'm telling you, you're going to get up earlier to go to your practice. You're going to stay up later because you're falling so much back in love with being the star of the show, the expert, the specialist on trauma and positioning that the right way. We're going to teach you on this Zoom meeting here today before we go how to market those patients. You thought I was holding back? How much time do I have here? All right, I got, an, I got a little bit of time left. As a matter of fact, I got as much time as I want. Is it okay if I hang out with you a little bit longer? Say yes, if that's okay. Can we do that? All right. <laughs> you know, I'm really digging this doctor here. There's one doctor that I just keep staring at. I got to, oh my, I can't believe all you guys. Dr. Petrucci hanging with us outside. Dr. Delgado, can't wait to see you and Jen in two weeks. Dr. Duckett. All I'm going to say is this, the next time I lecture, wherever that is, and no, you may not have to wait two more years to do a Zoom meeting, although the last one I gave on PI was two years ago, and I was joking before we started, I said, mark your calendar down for the next PI Zoom meeting in 2022. <laughs> but all I can tell you is this, you're my guest. Wherever I'm lecturing, you're my guest 
in the front row, okay? Your ticket's on me. Everybody else pays. You're on me, okay? For being such a great, cool doctor with us today. You're a lot of fun to look at. In Zoom, you can kind of see, I can't look at everybody, but I'm looking at him, Dr. Daniel, and, and more. So thank you. You want to do everything within your power because this is the highest level of chiropractic. And if you want to talk about, in essence, really, the magic of being a chiropractor, I'll give you the yin-yang of it right now. If you want the yin-yang, here's the yin-yang. The yin-yang is this. On one hand, one of the coolest things about being a chiropractor is we can do a lot of things, right? I can go to 10 different chiropractors and they would all, in essence, maybe treat me a little bit different, right? One does Gonstead, one does Thompson, one does Activated, one does HIO, one does NUCA, <laughs> one does SOT, right? Did I, did I name them? One does upper cervical, <laughs> one does lower cervical. <laughs> Is there a lower cervical? I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> we'll make a new technique. It's lower cervical. C6, C7, that's where it's at, baby. I'm going to call it the ducket bar technique. <laughs> we just made a new technique. But it's not just that. Let's be frank, right? It could be a nutrition practice. It could be a PT practice. Some don't even adjust, right? Some could be a pro adjuster. Do, 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 do. They, 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 like, they, listen, that's the beauty of it, right? that chiropractic is a lot of different things. But there's an old saying, tell me if you've ever heard it before. It's an old, I guess, proverb in the sense, maybe a Chinese proverb in the sense that if you try to be everything to everybody, you will often end up being nothing to nobody. And I don't know about you doctors, but I didn't get in this business. I didn't get in this profession to be nothing to nobody. I got in this profession just like you because I love taking care of sick people, that I love being the answer for them. I love saving them from opioids. I love saving them from epidural injections. I love saving them from potentially unnecessary surgeries. And I love saving their life because we know if they end up having multiple surgeries that the suicide rate, and you can look this up, I will give you the medical facts on this, that do you know that one in 50 people are dead, dead, within two years after spinal surgery if they had metal put into their back. Did you know that? This is the highest level of chiropractic and you never had to sacrifice anything. You never had to sell your soul. You had to stay true to the business that we've chosen to be a spinal disc doctor and to do it through for our doctors, spinal decompression. Holy cow, that imagine there's a medical technology Medical technology that allows you to decompress the disc gently, safely, up to an 86 to 91% success rate based upon medical facts from Harvard, from Mayo Clinic, from Johns Hopkins, from Stanford. You want research, we'll give you all the research. And in two weeks, we're gonna blow your mind on all the new research. It's so wild. But this is where we live. Get the MRI right out of the gate. And I don't know about you, but when my eyes go to this thing, holy cow, my eyes go right to the herniation. The fun thing about it is you don't have to diagnose the herniation. Let the medical radiologist do that. And that's why the medical report is so important. My question to you is this. I asked this question before as we started. Some of you missed it. But if I'm on this Zoom meeting this morning, this is really the one slide that would make my pupils go <sighs> And I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring my eye up close to the Zoom meeting. <laughs> Let me see how close I can get, right? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Can I get a little closer? What if? Just what if? Think about this for a sec. You can get paid the same or better than a PI case without having to deal with attorneys. Now, don't get me wrong. I love dealing with attorneys. We're going to talk about that in terms of how we market. But the fun, my, the glory for me for being a chiropractor is not. Now tell me if I say one thing on this entire Zoom meeting that resonates with you. One thing. If I never see you again, I hope I see everybody. But if I never see you again and you never hear from me again, I hope you walk away with this. I have a feeling that the majority, if not all of you that are here with us on this Zoom meeting right here, right now, got in the business of chiropractic for really one reason. That reason is we never, ever 
wanted to be dependent upon anyone. We wanted to be independent. In other words, we wanted to have a life and a lifestyle and a freedom to do what we want, when we want, where we want, with whom we want, for as long as we want, and to own our business, to be an entrepreneur. In other words, not to be dependent upon anyone because the reality is, I know for a fact that there are doctors on this Zoom meeting right now that feel like dependents. And I feel bad for you. Dr. Kaplan really feels bad for you. <laughs> he does. The reason why is because you didn't get in this business to be a dependent. We want everyone dependent upon you. We want your patients dependent on you. We want attorneys dependent on you. We want everyone else to be dependent upon you because you're the doctor, you're the specialist, you have the training, you've got the passion, you've got the knowledge, and you've got the tools to be able to do something great for them. That's how you create a life. I got in this business because I enjoyed being independent. I wish for all of you to get your independence back. And the way you get your independence back is by running a cash-based practice with a percentage that's personal injury, if you want. The magic of spinal decompression is that you get paid up front, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000. We're not telling you what to charge. I'm just telling you what our doctors often charge. And it's beautiful and they're getting paid and they're well worth it. Why are they worth it? Because they're giving $20,000 worth of treatment for six, $7,000. They're the best bargain going because they've embraced everything that we've shared with them, showed them, taught them, and they've embraced the brand of this Centers of America. That's the magic of it. We've got over 160 offices now throughout the country. Can you believe that? And did you know that this Centers of America is not, in essence, I know what people think, oh, is that a franchise? Is that that, like that other stuff? Zero franchise. It's free. <laughs> Wait a minute, did he just say free? Yes, it's free. If you're part of our concierge coaches family, it's free. It's a brand we own. We created. We didn't know it would be this crazy. But listen, if something's good, it'll last. If something's great, it'll stand the test of time. You ask our descendants of America doctors if it's great, they're going to tell you it's the best thing that's ever happened to them. And the way they did that was this. I want you to write this down right now. I'm going to give you a website. I want you to check out. It is www thecairoevent.com. Now, if you want to make this the best day you've had in a long time without ever leaving the comfort of your home, this is how you're going to do it. On December 5th, as our gift to our profession, the profession that's given us so much, giving us a life, a lifestyle, a freedom, and more. To be able to pass this torch on to our family and to be able to watch countless doctors across the United States have the best years of their life by taking charge of what they own best, which is being a disc expert, a disc specialist, being a personal injury specialist. Then what you wanna do is you wanna grab a seat on December 5th. Now, if you're curious and you're there and you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, why December 5th? I'm gonna tell you why. The reason is simple. The reason is because once 2021 begins, we are on the clock. And because you're on the clock, and I don't know when we're ever gonna do this again, I hope, I really do. But I know if you're able to grab a seat at the December 5th training, you've got four weeks to implement the tools, the training, the knowledge, the gifts that you were given. And guess what? I didn't know if you know this. I got a secret for you. <laughs> There's no obligation if you come. Zero. Can I do that? Zero. There's nothing to sign, there's no contracts, there's no pressure. It's the only training that we ever give where we open it up to family members of this Centers of America and non-family members. 
Every single one that we've ever taught has been sold out. You already know in two weeks, we're giving a training that's completely sold out. When we teach these things, all the seats go, and then you're on a waiting list. The problem is with the waiting list is that often most doctors on the waiting list never get in. That's the problem. So there is action steps that you have an opportunity to take advantage of December 5th. I'll talk a little bit more about that before we go, but I want you to go to this website. This is the number one rated comprehensive training. Listen, if you're sitting there and you say, wait a minute, this guy gave a lot of stuff today. If he's giving this stuff away for free, I wonder what he gives when like, we're kind of like in a group, you know what I mean? With other doctors. Well, you kind of know the deal. We're give, I'm, we'll blow your mind. We'll show you things you won't see anywhere else in the country. There's no pressure, there's no obligation. We'll give you so much stuff that you can hit the ground running. Come January 1st, 2021, you will be on fire. On fire with the tools that you'll implement, with the education that you've learned, and really with what we call the big idea. The big idea is that yes, behind every chiropractor, there's another chiropractor that gets ready to be released. That chiropractor is a specialist. And especially when it comes to this, go to www.thechiroevent.com and learn why these doctors, learn why. Look at Dr. Daniel, you can see yourself. Let me see, where are you? <laughs> Let me see, where are you? Oh, <laughs> you're somewhere on there. Dr. Petrucci, there you are. There you are, I found you. There's so many of these doctors. You can look for yourself. Doctor, I know it's crazy, right? This is not even all of them, you know what I mean? This is only as many as I could fit real quick on the screen. We love you guys because you love the same thing that we love. And You've been so gracious. You've been so giving. You've been so thankful. You've been so emotional. Holy cow. Because you understand that this was a gift. And the gift was really for Dr. Kaplan and I. In other words, we attract entrepreneurial chiropractors. We attract doctors that, in essence, really understand that chiropractic is also a business. But if you run the business smarter, well, guess what? You're going to do it better. Let's talk about marketing PI. Can I do that? Can we do that? Say yes. Raise your hand if I can do that. Yay. <laughs> Let's talk about how to market PI patients. Come on, you knew I was going to talk marketing. I wasn't just going to go. I was going to, we're going to talk marketing now. If you go to my website, one of my websites, you're going to see that we have a website dedicated to personal injury. Why is this website dedicated to personal injury? Because you're going to watch a TV commercial on our website. I'm going to direct you to a TV commercial, and I'm going to ask you one question. The question, doctors, I'm going to ask you is this. On a Saturday morning, as I'm giving up watching college football, I'm so excited for the Pac-12. It starts today. Yes, Dr. Doc. You know what I'm talking about. That's right. Today's a great day in the neighborhood. Or as Mr. Rogers would say, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. If you understand that you doctors are the game, it's your party, it's your show, it's your business. If you know what you're doing, I want you to hack this stuff. When I say, don't, I'm going to use a bad four letter word. Ready? I'll spell it for you. And I know it's no filters today, <laughs> but I'm going to use a bad four letter word. You ready? I'm going to spell it. C O. P Y. Don't copy stuff. That's a no no. It's rude. But if you want to hack our stuff, it's our gift to you, doctor. You can, you're more than welcome to hack it. Hack it means put your special sauce on it, make it yours. You know what I mean? So if you go to our website, you're going to watch a TV commercial. Now I'm going to ask you one question. The question I'm going to ask you is hack. I mean, this PI Zoom meeting. This should be like a 12 hour meeting, right? <laughs> we should break it down into so many. I, I wish I had so much more time with you, but we do have time left here today. But there's so much I could show you. That's why you want to be there December 5th. That's why you want to grab a seat on December 5th. That's why you want to go to www.thecairoevent.com right now and try to grab a seat if it's not sold out already. I'm gonna ask you one question. Here's the question, you ready? 
When you watch our TV commercial, the question I'm gonna ask you is this. I want you to ask yourself, when you watch that commercial, does it look more like a chiropractic commercial or does it look more like an attorney's commercial? I think you know the answer, but you'll go watch it when you have a free moment and you're on your phone and you're scrolling or your desktop and uh, you got nothing to do. By the way, real quick, for all Florida doctors, on the right side is a copy of my business card. That's my personal injury business card. Now, the reason I say Florida doctors is because notice that there's a time element to get checked. So when I give out cards for PI, it's to also educate them that there's a time element to get in immediately. Yes, you can use that if you're in other states, but this is actually the back of my business card. Pretty cool, right? This is my logo. When you look at our logo, our logo looks like a street sign, right? Right? <laughs> right? It's cool, right? That's our logo. Well, in addition to that, if we're going to use our logo, it's going to go on our letterhead, it's going to go on our door, it's going to go on our website, it's going to go on our literature, it's going to go on a lot of things, right? It's awesome, right? So we have a very clear, very congruent, very exacting way that we market, in other words. And we want you to learn this. December 5th is your chance. You want to go wild, you want to slingshot, literally pull that thing back, and explode your practice for 2021 and take charge, then do anything you can to get a seat there. <laughs> because nobody, and I mean nobody, has more fun than Dr. Kaplan and me. And uh, I think you'll see it because we got so many of our family doctors that are gonna be there. This is a card, this is actually a postcard that we actually mail to patients. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're sitting there and you're saying, wait a minute, does that go out to like the injury list? Does that go out to the accident report list? I know what you're thinking, right? Listen, we practice in Florida. If there was ever a way to see a PI patient, it was created in Florida or California. The one thing, absolutely one thing that I wish, hope, pray for all of you on this Zoom meeting is that when you do PI, you do it right. You do it smart. You do it compliant. You do it above board. And you know what I'm talking about. Never, ever, ever, ever be dependent upon anybody except yourself to create the personal injury party. Heck, if you have the right tools, they're all dependent upon you. This is the front of the postcard. This gets mailed to all my patients, all my active patients, all my inactive patients. Everyone, this is actually the back of the card. Call to schedule an appointment with Dr. Bard. His practice specializes in the relief of accident pain. He'll provide you with an understanding how this accident may have affected you now or in the future. The initial evaluation is free. Most personal injury patients have three questions. Number one, how bad was I and all my family injured? Number two, who can help me? Car issues or legal issues? What doctor should I see? Those are the three questions that they have. You know what the questions that I have? You know what the questions that I ask every personal injury patient when I walk in a room? Write this down. As a matter of fact, we didn't talk about this before. First question I always ask them. I also showed you before what we say to them, right? Pretty cool. Start using that lingo, that language, that verbiage. It'll help you communicate better. And you'll create a better relationship with your patients. You'll under promise and you'll over deliver. The one thing that I ask them is this. I always ask them, did you know before you were hit that you were going to get hit? Did you know that? This is a great question to ask. Why? I see a lot of heads that are like, I know why. Because here are the medical facts. The medical facts are that patients that know that they're going to get hit ahead of time, will walk away in worse shape. And it could be just a moment's notice, a rear view mirror, a side mirror, screeching tires, something out of the corner of their eye. Because what happens when we know we're gonna get hit? We tighten up, right? I saw an x-ray this morning of, it was one of the most dramatic x-rays I've seen in a long time. It actually was an airbag that blew out the patient's femur was disjointed right out of the acetabulum, right out of the iliofemoral junction. It actually blew the whole leg out. 
and it exploded on them. It was such a dramatic x-ray that, you know, usually, you know, you've seen it all, right? You know, there's very few things that you see that make you really very concerned. And when I saw that x-ray this morning, it was dramatic. I mean, to watch the whole femur, watch the whole femur out of the joint because of an exploded airbag and more. This is serious, serious stuff. Ask the patients, did they know? Here's another one that I love to send them. Here's five questions. Should I see a doctor? Number one. Number two, when should I see a doctor? Number three, will this accident affect my job? Number four, will it cost me anything to see a doctor? And number five, who is the best doctor for my situation? See, the reality is in business, in the business of chiropractic, if you can answer questions before they ask them, that's what we teach at the Cairo event. If you ever see, if you ever known anybody, and that's why, if you, I don't know if you looked at all these slides, there's that, there, I don't know, on all these slides, for those of you who are paying attention, and I know all of you are paying attention, is that the website is actually on all the, on all the um, to try to give you a little heads up on everything. But if you notice that the, or you ever spoke to anybody that attends the car event, You'll always hear these words. These are the words. And I start every Cairo event the same way with Dr. Kaplan. I always say of all the things we've ever done in our career, 34 years of education, training, commitment, dedication, passion to raising the game for our profession and making chiropractors all that and more to be able to have an amazing life and lifestyle by raising their game as doctors and specialists of all the things we've ever done. I will tell you emphatically that the Cairo event is by far my favorite thing, my favorite thing we've ever taught. Here's an amazing one too. If you'll notice, one of the things that we do is, there's an old, word, there's an old saying in our, our world, is what do you do next? Timing is crucial. One of the sayings here we always say is that variety is the spice of life. Would you believe right now, even as we do this Zoom meeting, that we have a team of graphic designers right now that are making new variations of all of our personal injury materials, new variations of our patient packaging, our folders, our inserts, our postcards, our, our displays, our videos. They're making our magazettes, our patient booklets, they're making new versions of that today. Today as we speak, I've already seen it. It's unbelievable. I cannot wait to share this with our Dissenters of America doctors. I cannot wait to show you this because variety is the spice of life. And the things I'm showing you, obviously if I'm showing it to the masses, that's the older version. The new versions, wait till you see. That's our gift to you and more. This is one of my favorite ones. This is, and wait till you see the new one. I've already seen the new one. It's, it'll blow your mind. I've been in a car accident. Now notice the hotline. Notice it doesn't say Dr. Joe Smith chiropractic office on it. Did you notice that? Why? Because people in their mind, we would always say this. Some of you have heard these words, that they don't have a good opinion about chiropractic. They don't have a bad opinion about chiropractic. They have no opinion. They don't know what chiropractors do. They don't. Not when you're seeing 8% of the populace. So it's your job, doctor, to educate them. It's your doctor to blow their mind. Let them walk out of your office going, man, Dr. Daniel, he was the most awesome doctor I have ever seen. Dr. Weymouth, incredible. Dr. Duckett, he was so cool, man. I was loving him. Dr. Rogers, look at all you guys. Dr. Mendonca, loving it. And to Larry, to Larry one of the great doctors. So many of our family of doctors that are hanging with us here today, Dr. Vinton, oh my gosh, doctor, oh, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you know, there, <laughs> there's some great doctors, you know, um, even a new doctor actually that's joining our party that almost, it's um, with an O on his name at the end, which is very, very cool. <laughs> Who has more fun than us? Nobody. Nobody. I'm so excited for you because this is the, this is, listen, nothing happens by chance. You think you rolled out of bed one day and you ended up on this Zoom meeting? You were here for a reason. The reason I love this piece is because it educates the patient on something that the attorneys, now I actually send this to the attorneys. Whoa, why do I send this to the attorneys? because of the simple fact that they know we are the best at documentation. 
See, what the attorneys really care about is they don't really care that you're the best doctor. I know that sounds kind of hard and almost a little, a little gruff, a little rude, right? But the truth is they want to know you're a great documenter, that you can package their degree of causal relation, that every visit does not look the same. Biggest problem in a chiropractic office is the first visit looks like the 10th, the 10th look, visit looks like the 20th, the 20th looks like the 30th. That's a problem. If you look at my records, my records are so randomized that every visit looks different and I have an automated system to allow that to raise the level of documentation. That's why you wanna be there December 5th and more because we've automated this, we've templated this because they can look at it and go, wow, locked and loaded, this doctor is on. And not only that, they were able to document the degree of impairment, the degree of injury, the disability rating based upon the objective findings. In other words, whoa, wait a minute. Did he just talk about the AMA guidelines to the evaluation of permanent impairment and the new guidelines and the things you need to be aware of? 1,000%. We want you so large and in charge to know that, and you can take a lot of that information. See, what I love is getting it from the MRI. The first thing is I grab the MRI and then we start working on the injury rating because there's ways to be able to, there's ways to be able to document your injury rating that is factual, based upon medical research, based upon the traumatic insult, based upon your facts and findings. That's what attorneys love. And they will fall in love with you if you can hand them this package and they say, wait a minute, this doctor, this chiropractor is so far better than everyone else. You want to talk about coming to the point? This is a card. We put it in an envelope. We send it to attorneys. Dear counselor, looking for more clients? If you're committed to help auto injury victims, we use that term all the time, victims, not patients, because they're not a patient in my office yet. They're victims. That's a medical legal term. It's not a medical term. It's a legal term. Victims, start checking the way your attorneys in your area are marketing. They'll use that word over and over again. So we use, you know, listen, if you're in France, start speaking French. If you're in Italy, start speaking Italian. If you're in Brooklyn, start talking Brooklynese. Not that I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> Did you know there's a Brooklyn, Michigan? Did you know that? I'm not talking about that Brooklyn. I'm talking about that other one. You know, the Welcome Back Cotter one? <laughs> that one. You know, some people think when I talk fast that the Brooklyn really comes out. I can't help it. I've gone to speech pathologists. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I don't think you ever lose that accent. I don't really think you do. But look at this to the point. If you care about the victims as much as we do, then you want to call us before your colleagues do. You'll be glad you did. Right to the point. Right to the point. We're going to blow them away. And how do we blow them away? Wow. Well, on December 5th, we're going to talk about how we talk to attorneys. We're going to role play the attorney banter. And that is the game over of game overs. We'll teach you exactly how to win them every single time in a way that you've never seen before. Here's another letter. I know you say to yourself, gee, I can't believe he's showing this. Yep, you ain't seen nothing. You got to, December 5th, that's your final opportunity. As a physician located in Delray Beach, I've had the pleasure of taking care of order of trauma victims for 29 years. My practice is essentially a one-stop treatment center. They love that. In other words, I can refer you the patient doctor if I'm an attorney and I don't have to worry about coordinating the ortho, the neuro, the MRI. I don't have to get that allopathic physician to write meds. You'll handle everything and you'll protect the integrity of chiropractic as a non-invasive natural healthcare provider. My practice is essentially a one-stop treatment center providing EMC assessments. That's for Florida doctors, as we mentioned. Injured care and treatment, MRI, diagnostic study, neurological, AMA impairment ratings based upon the new guidelines and final narrative reports. Since the mainstay of my practice is taking care of patients involved in automobile accidents, I simply wanted to speak with you when you have a free moment about the possibility of working together. Speak with you a moment about the possibility. By the time we're done educating you, the attorneys will be asking for your phone number, your cell number, your business cards, You'll be dependent no more because you're using the right tools. This is all about the right tools, the right ammunition. 
What do I do? I put my cell phone on there. And then I'll teach you how to communicate when you do this on December 5th. We send them another one. Your one-stop shop for MRIs, assessment of EMCs, neurosurgery. I make this, do you notice something? Do you notice there's like a little kind of like a first letter, second letter, third letter? I mean, we've got so much ammunition. We've got a ground game. We've got an air game. We've got a C game. We will attack them from a top down, from bottom up. Oh, it kind of sounds like chiropractic, right? <laughs> it's an above down, inside out thing, right? It is. And for you doctors that are having so much fun the way we are, now more than ever, why are we having fun? Because you guys are at the top of your game. You're the leaders in your demographic. You're the disc specialist. You've taken these tools and you've gone to town. You've made this sentence of America yours and the 150 plus things we've given you and personalized every one of them for you for free. Wow, you deserve it and so much more. One of the things that we also do is it's a very special report. It's an auto accident report. We personalize it for all of our doctors. It's probably the best fender bender report I've ever seen. And it is 10 questions. Now, one of the things we do with this report is we make sure that every attorney has this report. Every single one of my patients has emailed this report before they have an accident. I have stacks of these at my front desk. We give them out. We make sure that every automobile dealership, every collision center, every windshield repair place, every tire place has a stack of these in their reception area. It's so awesome. We have a newer version of it we just did and we, just, and we personalize all this stuff for you guys. The new version is killer. This sentence of America, our family of doctors, Dr. Thomas, way to get on it, brother, in La Mirada. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in two weeks. Having fun, loving PI. I love your commitment because guess what? You're reinventing yourself, but you're doing it the right way. Dr. Jensen, holy cow, back to back. You guys got a chance to hang out at boot camp two weeks ago. I'm so excited to see you. Dr. JB, I know you're taking good notes, lodging in charge. You guys, look at how many people are still hanging out with us. Dr. Leo, wow, from Mississippi, brother. <laughs> You want to win this game of PI? And listen, last time I checked, games were meant to be played to have fun. We play games to have fun, right? When we grew up as kids, there were so many games we played. Then we get older, we stop playing games, right? Well, this is a new game. And whether it's Monopoly, or whether it's Risk, or whether it's uh, <laughs> Trivial Pursuit, or whether it's one of those things people play on their phone, I wanna say like Candy Crush or something like that. Hey, listen, you know my phone. It's called a BlackBerry flip phone. Why? Because it's a business phone. You know how many attorneys are on this phone? This is the phone, no games. It's all about communication. But the game we want you to play is raising your game. And when you play games, you do it for two reasons. There's two reasons, number one, you play to have fun. Practice should be fun. Our doctors are having so much fun. Dr. Kaplan and myself are having the most fun in our lives. But you also play for another reason, right? You play to win. That's the reason you got in this. That's the reason you're here with us today. You play to win. You play fairly, you play squarely, but you play to win. And if you win, how do you win? When your patients win. If you can deliver a better level of service to your patients, better disc care, better nerve care, better joint care, guess what? They're gonna win. Here's another example. I love this one because this is the one when we opened our fifth office. We just opened our fifth office. The care and the treatment of injured patients is our specialty. We don't use that word niche. I don't like the word niche. Niche sounds like a hobby. I changed this. This is actually an older version. I love the word specialty. We have patients that need counsel. We're entering our 25th year, which really just shows you how many years ago I've been using it. If you're interested in doing business, let's talk. Here we go. Now, let me tell you something. This is a card that's on heavy stock. It gets sent to them and more. And listen, you know, as I mentioned, as I mentioned to you, that there is a way here to make this so much better. This is so much more than PI. This is so much more about being a dependent. This is about the highest level of being a chiropractor by rendering spinal disc care 
based upon all the medical research that positions you as a non-invasive, non-surgical spinal disc specialist using spinal decompression if you choose. Now you're probably wondering and you're saying to yourself, wait, wait a minute, I know about these guys. I've heard about these guys. As a matter of fact, they're the only ones in the country that teach this stuff. In other words, we're the only ones that created the National Spinal Decompression Certification Program. As I mentioned, sold, completely sold out in two weeks. It will, we've been teaching it since 2012. We started at Parker University. It's the only university certification in the world in non-surgical spinal decompression. But if you're asking me, if you're asking me, you're saying, you know what, doctor, what's more important? I'm gonna tell you they're both important, but if I had a choice, I'm grabbing a seat at the Cairo event. Why? Because the Cairo event is the business of success. See, so many of you are left brain. You want all the details. You want all the science. You want all the clinical data. You want all the research. Well, guess what? That's awesome and that's cool. But if you don't know how to bridge that right side, if you don't know how to take the left side and the right side and put it together, then you're going to be on an island by yourself. The business of success in chiropractic is the rocket fuel that takes your personal injury practice and takes it to this, really takes it to the moon, takes your spinal decompression practice to the stars. These doctors are getting paid cash, no dependency, not obligated to anybody, saving patients every day from bad stuff and they're loving it. And guess what, last time I checked, as you know, and as I mentioned before, our doctors have five tables, seven tables, 10 tables, 11 tables. Imagine having 12 spinal decompression tables in your practice. Heck, they only started with one. They used these tools, they got so busy that they needed a second because the worst thing you could ever do is have anybody pay you $5,000 up front. Here's my credit card, doc. Run my credit card today, I'm ready to start right now. And now I gotta wait 30 minutes to get on a table. That's a no-no. But guess what? That's called the capacity problem. And creating capacity problems is the most fun thing that Dr. Kaplan and I do. Creating supply and demand where the demand is so strong, now it's incumbent upon you to fulfill the supply. That's the magic of it. That's the beauty of it. And the last time I checked, this is a staff-driven practice. The staff-driven practice of spinal decompression is where you'll see them the first visit. You'll check on them the 10th visit. You'll check on them the 20th visit, 20th visit. But your staff is running this practice. What a beautiful way to be free. What a beautiful way to be independent. What a beautiful way to raise your level of care. And what a beautiful way to make money. I think we're having fun, man, as I'm giving up college football. Big game today, Oregon. That's the late game, ESPN. You know, they canceled that other game. I don't know if you saw but I'm excited for UCLA, USC. I'm excited for Arizona State. I'm excited. <laughs> you know, some people think I have a California soul, maybe because, you know, maybe I run a little late sometimes. Not three hours late, but I have a California soul. We've got doctors all over the country. I can't wait for you doctors to meet. I showed that picture before. We have so many doctors down in California, in Tulare and Tustin and Los Angeles and uh, La Mirada and San Leandro. And uh, I mean, you name it, they're everywhere. You know what I mean? Just Californians are great. We've got them all over the country now. We will have over 200 within the next few months. And the brands of this Centers of America, NeuroMed, Neurodoctoropathy Treatment Centers, Prime Care. Did I see, did I see that? Can you see the Prime Care? <laughs> it's all free. It's free. If you're part of our family, we love, you know, you know what it's like? I'll give you an example. Kind of like when you name your child something and then you got a great friend and they say, Dr. Duckett, man, you know, you're such a good buddy. You've been so loyal. You're awesome. And you're a great chiropractor too. I really have looked at you as a role model through my years. If it's okay with you, I'd love to name my child after your child. How cool is that, right? Isn't that like, a, like, a, like the greatest compliment? Well, when you name your clinic after our clinics, that's the greatest thank you. And you're given that for free if you're a concierge coach's doctor. It's only limited to concierge coach's doctors. But I've got nothing to sell you here today. <laughs> but I do have the ability to give you something. And hopefully I've given you some stuff here today. Do you like it? Did you like, you dig the marketing part, right? It's pretty cool, right? I've got so much more for you. December 5th, you wanna grab a seat. 
You want to be with the greatest doctors in the country. There are doctors that you're looking at that have, as I mentioned, they started with one table, then they have two, then they have three, then they have five, then they have 10, then they got 12. They're charging five, six, seven thousand dollars. They're dependent upon nobody. You should see the deposits that these doctors are making, but more than the money. If this is just about money for you, there's other ways to make money. There are, maybe not as good, but there's other ways to make money. But if you're about, if you're about doing something that you've never done before, or doing something better than you've done before. Because the truth is, so many of you are already in the personal injury business. You're gonna do it better now. You're gonna document better. You're gonna educate better. You're gonna communicate better. You're gonna create better relationships with the patients and the attorneys. It's so much fun. One of the things we talk about on December 5th is this. Gee, is there a better spinal decompression table? Like what spinal decompression table should I use? What's the difference between traction and decompression? I heard there's like a difference. What's the difference? Well, so many of you know that answer, you do. But guess what? Wait till you see all the new medical research. How do I get better medical referrals from this? What attorneys, what are they really wanting here for PI cases? How do I communicate with them better than I'm doing right now? How many treatments does a patient need? What are the exact patient protocols? In other words, once a patient involved in an accident and I want to use spinal decompression, listen, using spinal decompression is up to you. That's optional. It's not mandatory. But guess what? If you've got the best tools in your practice, those are the tools that you want to use. Those are the tools that you want to be able to under-promise and over-deliver. That's what makes you a specialist. And that's why patients fall in love with you because of the simple fact that you're delivering better service than your peers. How do you treat a one herniation? How do you treat two? How do you treat a sequestered disc? How do you treat a prolapse? What do you do here, in essence? What do you do? What do you do if the patient has metal in their back? What do you do if the patient already has osteoporosis? What, how do you treat that? We'll talk about that on the fifth. Who are the best candidates? What should I charge? And so much more. Write this down, www.thecairoevent.com. December 5th is your opportunity to do something you've never done before in your career, in your life, in your practice, to make this yours, to have more fun. And you know what it is? It's my favorite time of the year. When everybody's out there, you know, kind of slowing down, let's be frank, right? How many practices in the month of December I can survey all of you. I can go in all your practices. I'll guarantee that your numbers are down in December. Why? Because it's not your fault. Why? Because patients are distracted. Why? Because they're getting ready this year more than any year to be able to make the holidays special. That's what your patients do. So many patients lost work this year. So many patients lost income this year. So many patients' quality of life went down, and now they're counting on you to do something for them that no other doctor could do, to be able to deliver something that no other doctor can deliver. And that is a better outcome if they have trauma or if they have had the stress, which basically affects everybody else, right, of a disc problem that now they're looking at opioids, epidurals, injections, and other bad stuff, man. And you're the answer. You're potentially, and I'm going to share something with you right now. And you're going to say, oh, man, that sounds like, oh, Dr. Bard, that's such like an awesome compliment. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you that for the doctors that I'm looking at, holy cow, party's still going. You guys often are the best kept secret in your area. The best kept secret. And I know that sounds like a compliment, right? Oh, he just called me the best kept secret. I'm going to tell you that's not a compliment. I'm going to tell you it's unfortunate. And the reason it's unfortunate is because if you're the best kept secret, it just simply means that there's so many patients that don't know you exist. You're invisible to them. And that's a tragedy because now they can't get 
the higher standard of care that you're prepared to deliver in 2021, that's a crime. You have an ethical and you have a moral obligation to do something amazing. That's to raise their game. You want to raise the profession of chiropractic, I'll teach you in a nutshell how to raise it. To make your universe so attractive, so magnetic, that every one of the people that know you, they got, man, Dr. Duckett, he's got it going on. He's living so large. I'm not talking about living in the best house, which you could, driving the best cars, which you could, taking the best vacations, which you should, <laughs> taking as much time off as you want, which many of you do. I'm talking about living the life as a chiropractor, as a disc specialist that has a 30% trauma practice and a 70% cash practice. You will no longer be the best kept secret if you get a chance to get a seat. You can't get a seat in two weeks. I heard that the list is going to approach over 100 on a wait list. That's freaky. 100 people that can't come, that wanted to come. Well, for the 150 that have seats, I'm so excited for you guys. I really am. And so many of you have seats for December 5th. And some of you even have seats for December 4th for the boot camp. But December 5th is the last one of the year. Go to www.thecairoevent.com and do whatever you can. Hey, I, did I forget to tell you how much it is? Oh, yeah. I'm not selling anything, so I'm not going to talk price. But if you go to the website, you'll learn real quick. It's 99 bucks. <laughs> $99. Wow. That's crazy. You know what I mean? What can we charge? Whatever we want, we could charge because it's worth it that much more. Listen, the fact is this. This is such a game changer for so many doctors that had the chance. We have a 100% success rate, meaning we take surveys after doctors come. On Monday, they get an email. It says, did you love it? What did you love most about it? What are you going to change in your practice now? We send out emails. And you, the comments, I could do a whole Zoom meeting just on comments. Just for you guys of what the feedback we get, it's crazy good. It's exciting. We're thankful to you guys to be able to have this chance and this opportunity to share it with you. And, you know, listen, you know, at the end of the day, hey, <laughs> oh, at the end of the day, you have a decision to make. And the decision that you have to make is this. The decision that you have to make is what are you, what are you prepared to do? Now, if you're prepared to just kick back, wait for the universe to hand you things, not make any changes to your personal injury practice, to your disc practice, that's okay. <laughs> That's all right, you know what I mean? There's a part of me that feels bad for you, but there's a much bigger part of me that feels great. And the reason that I feel great is because I'm so thankful for the other doctors that were on this here today, that gave up their Saturday, just like me, for the first time ever, first Zoom meeting ever on a Saturday, ever. Hey, you know, there's an old saying, special times require special action steps. And now you have a chance to take an action step. Do something to make your life better. Put yourself around the most successful entrepreneurial chiropractors on the planet. Hang out with us in beautiful Palm Beach, Florida, five-star location. Oh, did I tell you we buy you the most delicious gourmet lunch in history? Did I tell you that? Unbelievable. We have so much fun doing this, but this is the beginning. This could also be the end. I won't decide that. You'll decide that. So many of you will decide that, you know what? Heck, you know, I like where I am. I like my lot in life, and that's fine. But I have a feeling that there are so many chiropractors that knew they got up this morning. And their life is going to change because they were given an opportunity, literally a ticket, a chance to finish the year in a way that they've never finished before. But more importantly, to skyrocket and position yourself. This is all about positioning. This is all about ammunition. 
This is all about headspace. Yeah. If you change your headspace, and we'll teach you that, to do it the right way, to do it the way you were designed to do it, and to make this part of your history. Heck, Dr. Kaplan and I, you know, we did it. It's it. We retired in practice. <laughs> you know the story. I retired when I was 40 years old. Some of you know how old I am now. That was a while ago. And I could have hung it up, and I could have hung out on the beach. But guess what? You can only sit in the sun that long. I was so honored, so blessed, so fortunate, my wife and myself, to be given two children, two boys, that said, you know what? I see how this works. I like the life. I like the lifestyle. But I like the freedom. I'm going to do something that all of your colleagues have done. I'm going to put two letters in front of my name. Those two letters, D-R. D-R. And as Dr. Kaplan says so eloquently, D-R stands for demands respect. But guess what? Respect is earned. Respect is earned. And how do you earn it? Well, heck, you get up a little bit earlier than your peers. You stay up a little bit later than your peers. You work a little bit harder. You fall back in love while you got in this business in the first place. You know that the best chiropractor is still inside you. And there's nothing better, nothing, than being a spinal disc specialist that sees personal injury patients, but yes, can afford those other 70% of patients a better option without insurance, without attorneys, without dependency, and to save these patients from narcotics, opioids, epidural injections, which are so risky, and often unnecessary surgery. I could tell from all of you hanging out that we had fun here. And if you want to one-up it one time, just for fun, because I didn't have a slide for this, take out a pen right now and you want to move to the front of the line. Let me give you something right here, right now for hanging out with us to the end. I'm going to give you a phone number. Write this phone number down. It is 561-302-1871. One more time. There's no slide for this. 561-302-1871. If you want to move to the front of the line, yes, you can go to www.thecairovent.com, try to snag a ticket. If it's not sold out, I kind of have a feeling it may be already after this. I just have a feeling. But if you want to move to the front of the line, if you call the number I just gave you and you ask for Lacey. Now, it may go to voicemail, but she'll check her messages in order. So you have an advantage here if you call that number to get to the front of the line www.thecairovent.com, but go to, or call this number, 561-302-1871. Let Lacey know you want a seat on December 5th for the training of the year to be able to finish 2020 the right way and to literally skyrocket like a rocket ship your practice, your world, your life, your journey for 2021. It's all in front of you. I can't thank you enough for hanging with us. Saturday morning, Zoom, the first time ever. And I hope on behalf of Dr. Kaplan, myself, that we get a chance to see you on December 5th. I promise you, It'll change your practice. It'll change your career. It'll change your life all for the better. And uh, we'll have fun. Thanks for hanging with us again. I'll see you December 5th. And go watch some college football today. Thanks again.